In module two, lesson two for fifth grade, the mean scale is rounding our multiplication expression to estimate products. Estimation means about how many. So we're not looking for an exact answer, but just an approximation, an estimate. So for this first problem, what we'll do to round is underline the largest place value first. We're underlining the largest place value because those are the numbers that we need to change to estimate our products. Okay, so we have 656 times 106. In my first number, that 6 is the largest place value because it's in the hundreds. So I look next door and I see, oh, I see a 5. So my 5 is 5 or more. So that tells me my 6 needs to go up to a 7 and the rest becomes zeros. Okay, times 106. Without even thinking about it, if I have to figure out if 106 is closer to 100 or 200, without even rounding, it's only 6 away from 100, so it has to be 100. Okay, so now my problem gets a little easier to solve. Now be very careful because I already made this mistake. Instead of just a normal equal sign, you actually need to have the approximation sign, okay? So this means about. Looks like a wavy equal sign. So I'm just going to do my little trick here. 7 times 1, 7, and 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. Put my comma in. 700 times 100 is 70,000, right? So my 656 times 106 is about 70,000, roughly 70,000. Okay, so for our next problem here, we have 3,108 times 7,942 is about how many? So again, about how many? We are estimating. So if I have 3,108, my largest place value is the 3 in the thousands and the 7 in the thousands. So again, for we're rounding this number first, 3,100. I have to think about, okay, is that closer to 3,000 or is that closer to 4,000? If I look next door, my 1, which is less than 5, tells me, yeah, we're closer to 3,000. So I'm going to keep 3,000 times. I'm going to look at 7,942. Is this closer to 7,000 or is it closer to 8,000? Um, I know by looking next door at my 9 that it is, in fact, closer to 8,000. So 3,000 times 8,000, I'm going to just do my little trick. Underline my 3 and my 8. 3 times 8 is 24. And I have three six zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. My answer is 3,108 times 7,942 is about 24 million. Okay, let's do one more problem. So we have 425 times 9,311 is about how much? So again, be careful because these are not in the same place value, okay? My first number um, goes up to the hundredths and my second number goes to the thousandths. So I'm gonna round my 425 first. So I think, okay, is this closer to 400 or 500, I look next door at that 2, and that tells me I'm closer to 400. For my second number, 9,311, is that closer to 9,000 or 10,000? I would say that's definitely closer, oh, I'm sorry, not to 10. That's closer to 9,000 because my next door neighbor is a 3. 4 times 9 is 36. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. Just let me fix my commas over here. One, two, three zeros, one, two, three. My answer is about 3,600,000. Thank you for watching my video for module two, lesson two for fifth grade based on Engage New York. Um, I hope you learned how to round factors and estimate products.